Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Michael. As you know, uh, Jessica, our internet marketing specialist, had let me know that a gentleman named Sil was wanting to know what uh, pr me to do a presentation and walk around on a 2020 Explorer. So I had her pull up this uh, Explorer here. This is a 2020 Explorer XLT in silver spruce. Um, a beautiful Ford redesigned them completely in 2020. So they redesigned the body, how they handle even feels different. Um, there's a 2.3 liter four cylinder engine in them now that's turbocharged. So what that gives you is the uh, ability to have the fuel economy of a four cylinder, but the power to run the all wheel drive system. Uh, the engine that prior to this in the past used to be uh, that a lot of you might be familiar with is the 3.5 liter V6. And Ford moved away from that in these because of fuel economy and power. You still have your 5,000 pound towing capacity out of the two inch receiver hitch. You still have your four inch receiver plugs for your trailering for either square or round. Um, so they're, they're like um, really still got a lot of the capabilities of a V6, but the power and the, and the fuel economy of a, of a four cylinder turbocharged. A couple of things I wanted to show you that's new. Um, what Ford did is on their rear view camera, they put a washer jet. So when you wash the back window, it also washes your jet. A lot or your camera. A lot of my customers have a dirty finger on their gloves because they're always wiping that off. So that's really eliminated that issue. Um, this, these vehicles now are all push button start. So you carry around just a key in your wallet, your purse, your pocket, however it's keep comfortable. And all you have to do is just keep it on you. When you walk up to the vehicle, and I'll show you that in a second, put your hand in the handle, it unlocks. But a couple things that are nice, it also has your power lift gate right on the key. There's a button there. And then when you're inside, I have two seats in the middle folded down, as well as the third row in the back folded down. And then when you lift this up, you also have a little bit of better storage there. Um, it's just a nicer setup, maybe hard to see because of the being outside. But this seat here is really easy now in the one of the part of the design, just to put it up, bam, you're done. Before you had to flip a whole bunch of stuff, now you can do it. Uh, a lot of my elderly customers have told me that they find this a lot easier because there's not a lot of upper body strength needed. You literally reach in and one finger and I can pull the seat up. So that's a nice improvement for it's done. And then they, of course you've got the, the lighting in the back here and there's a 12 volt plug back here. So if you have a cooler or something like that, you can plug it back in there when you're going on your holidays and camping. There's also, if you'll see up here, there's your end gate. You can set it, but there's a lock. You can actually adjust this. If you're vertically challenged a little bit, you need the end gate step down a little, or sorry, the, uh, the end gate down a little bit, you can adjust it where you want to. Lock it there, and that's where it'll only go up to. It's really nice too, like in my garage, I have to be careful if my end gate, or my uh, lift gate goes all the way up, it'll hit my garage door. So I can adjust it down, and then I don't have that, that mark right here on it. So if we go around to the right side of the vehicle, uh, Ford's got the fuel fill still on the driver's side, which is wonderful when you pull up to the pumps, you just have to get out and fuel up. Press that, open up, it's got your capless easy fuel filler cap. Ford's had that since 09, awesome system. You just pull up, put your nozzle in and you're done. Uh, and here's this easy entry system. So right here, you put your finger there, that locks it. As soon as you put your hand in the handle, it unlocks the car. And uh, also, if you don't have the keys with you, you can put the key code in and I can change that code for you to any five digit code you want. So then it's personal, you put your code in, unlocks the doors. It's really nice because these keys here are 450 to $500 if you ever lost or repaired it or broke it. So it's really nice not to give it to the kids. They can actually have the code. They forgot their Barbie dolls or their toys. They can just come get them themselves and you don't have to worry about finding this in the sandbox in the spring. A couple of other things too, if on this mirror, you'll notice there's no convex mirror. And it's a little dusty, so I'm just trying to draw one for you. But there's no convex mirror on it. What Ford's done is they put this little light here, and it's called the blind spot monitoring system. So with that Bliss system, when there's someone in your blind spot while you're driving, this light comes on, whether they're on their left side or the right side. Another thing, too, is when you're parked, say, a Walmart or Bilo, and you're backing out, if there's someone with a cart coming or a car, it'll beep at you inside to tell you who's coming for the left or the right. And that's a really nice... Uh, feature for when you're backing out of your driveway say and someone's coming. I know for me it has saved me from hitting my neighbor who seems to always leave at the same time I do a couple minutes earlier. So, <laughs> around in the front, uh, Ford's redesigned the whole front end of the vehicle. If you get up over here you'll see there's little openings right here and when I first saw that I mean I'm not big on technical words and things like that uh, but 
What that does is those openings, and when you're driving on the highway, wind goes through there and it hits the, the wheels. And the way the engineers have designed it, it actually increases fuel economy. That's another reason why you would see this being better on fuel than the, uh, than the prior year. And then your, block, your uh, fog lights have been lifted up. They used to be down here in a lot of the models. They've moved it up higher and it's a lot clearer, less breakage from stones and fa fantastic visibility. Uh, customers that drive them, I like to really pull them all the time and ask them questions all the time. And, and that's what they're telling me is they're really happy with the lighting at nighttime around here, especially in the wintertime when we seem to have like 23 hours at nighttime and one hour at daytime. So drive to work in the dark, come to home in the dark. So that's that vehicle on the outside. And what I can do too, uh, one more thing I'll tell you, you do have roof rails at the top. Right now there's not cross rails on this particular model, but Ford has those as well. So if you wanted to put uh, Thule on the top, or uh, like for cargo, or if you wanted to put like a, a canoe or a kayak set up there, there's a setup for that as well. And you see them around town like that, that's easy for us to do. We can actually get you guys the cross rails, but we can also get you all the other accessories as well. So, thanks guys. The next part of this video, I'll show you a few of the features inside of the vehicle.